Listen now for the word of God in these words from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 35, verses 4 to 7a. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. God will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. God will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. Our second reading comes from the gospel according to Mark chapter seven, verses 24 to 37. From there, Jesus set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there, yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, for saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon toward the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd and put his fingers into his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is be opened. And immediately his ears were opened his tongue was released and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Friends, God is still speaking. May the spirit guide our understanding and inspire our hearts in the hearing of these words. Amen. Good morning, friends, on this uh, holiday weekend. Um, when a new year begins, it's traditional to uh, make a resolution. And I believe that that is something that gives us hope. It um, helps us look to the future and um, know that, and it's, it's one of the many reasons that we know that there is um, tomorrow. Um, sometimes this is a fresh start and sometimes it's to continue on the same path that we're on. Um, I heard recently about something similar um, to a resolution. Um, some sort of uh, what tradition that people are taking on, and that is um, coming up a, with a word for the year. And I've loved and admired that idea um, to embrace a word for the year. So in 2021, um, my word for the year um, is hope. Um, and somehow in my decision to share today, I decided to talk about hope, mostly because I need it. This is something I found at a store and um, it, it, it helps me focus sometimes. And um, it's, just, it's just an interesting reminder of me. So, um, as I, as I, pondered what to share today. Um, I thought, 
I don't have any idea what to say. I've had a rotten week. At times this week, I've had little hope. I don't have anything to say. Uh, there isn't hope. I don't see any hope. I don't have anything to say about hope. So I've been getting grasping for inspiration. I have listened to music. I have read. I have listened to books. I have read books. I have watched movies. I've talked to wise people. And I've spent time in the word of God. And as um, Jocelyn just read from Isaiah 35, say to those who are full of fear, be strong. Don't be afraid. Here is God. And I remembered a song that I have heard somewhere. I have no idea. The, song, the, the words just came up when I started, when I read this. Say to those who are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. The Lord your God is strong with his mighty arms when you call on her name. He will come and save. She will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. She will come and save you. Okay. But where, where is God? God, where are you? I remembered the Bible that we as Christians look to for guidance and for inspiration. All the stories in the Bible from beginning to end with people like Noah and Abraham and Sarah and Joseph and Moses and the stories about Jesus like um, we read earlier or like Jocelyn read earlier, Jesus, please help my daughter. She is very disturbed. And I remembered the Bible stories are not about these people. These stories are about God. The hope in these stories is not in their circumstances. Their hope is in God. The last time we were in our building together, we didn't know where we would be today. The journey of COVID-19 we are on has prevented us from meeting in our building together since that day. The last time we were in our building was also the last time I preached. I had no idea more than a year later, I would be preaching on Zoom from my home. Not because I moved to another state, not because Zoom is now our norm, but because we are still unsure of when we will be back. We hoped it was going to be next week, but we received an, up mail, an email update recently. And here's what it said. This is not the gathering update we hoped to be sending on the threshold of September. Like so many of you, we've been looking forward with great hope to a time when we can be together again in our beloved sanctuary. And we hoped that September 12th would bring us a joyful <clears throat> opportunity to worship together in person. But the course of the pandemic has unfolded. It has become clear that we need to send, that we need to alter our plans again. But then later, as I continue to read, I found the hope. We remain committed to gathering again in person as soon as we can. So while also upholding our responsibility to care, care for the welfare of our whole community. Hope can be gathering again. 
and hope can be retaking responsibility. We as a church, as a community, as a state, as a world, we are enduring a collective season of difficulty. We are suffering the effects and we know it will continue to impact the future of us all. We continue to gather through Zoom and pray for and support in a tangible way our brothers and sisters at home and around the world because we believe this will somehow in some way make an impact. Not only do our brothers and sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles around the world suffer, so do we. In each one of our lives, inevitably, we suffer. Here are some difficult circumstances I took directly from all of those inspirational places where I dug this week. I read about a circumstance in a book. Here's the quote. We discovered it's alcoholism. This week, a wise person told me, in quote, I never thought in all my life I would be in this place. And this line was on a TV show. One day I was a dad, and the next day I wasn't. If I sat across from you right now, like I am now, one to one, in person, instead of Zoom, and instead of me just talking to you, what if I listened? What would you tell me about the times you've struggled through difficult circumstances? Say to those who are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. The Lord your God is strong with his mighty arms when you call on her name. She will come and save. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. She will come and save you. My friends, hope comes in many forms. Hope can be in the rain. Or hope can be when the rain finally stops. It can be in a cry, or it can be when the cry stops. Hope can be in the bright sunshine, or it can be when the sun goes away. Hope can be being trusted to preach on a Sunday, and hope can be when it's finished. Hope can be in a warm cup of coffee, the smile of a friend, waking up in the morning, hope can be a good night's sleep or waking up in the morning. Our hope is as unique to us as our story is. All the stories in scripture about the people, they all had stories and circumstances to overcome, but all of them ended with how God brings hope. May it be so.